I've been to Seoul four or five times for Boon the Shop over the last two and a half years. And um, what I find special about the city is the fact that you have these incredibly beautiful mountains in the backdrop, which is romantic and beautiful. It's a very green city. And I like that you're so sloped, more like our San Francisco. You're not a flat town. And the slope is what gave me the idea for angling the building. The characteristics of this building are the beautiful Greek uh, sewage marble on the outside, which has over a thousand shades of white. It's meant to look like two mass blocks, almost meteorites who have fallen from the heavens onto the earth, landed quite elegantly but irregularly. There are two pavilions and uh, they're joined by very delicate glass bridges. We use a lot of uh, details from um, the study of insects for the displays in different materials. Uh, the materials fundamentally follow the architecture again in terms of being steel or cement, uh, blackened steel. Uh, the two buildings have two characters. One has an old rough concrete interior and that is representing chaos newness, really addressed to young people. The two bird cages emulate the characteristic of the two buildings that create Boone the Shop. The other building has extremely luxurious stones on the floor and on the walls. We use what I call Robert Ryman textures to paint the walls and there's an elegance and a calmness reflecting perhaps some of the better established luxury brands. Keep in mind that it's more differences on the two pavilions, as I've explained, one being more refined materials and one being rougher materials. I really want cohesion and I don't want a different feeling on every floor. What I'm looking for is an architectural cohesion and a sort of freedom for the retailer. There's a very high level of retail sophistication among the buyers at Boone the Shop. And due to the changing nature of fashion, it has to be very, very flexible and things cannot be fixed. So you can't say, oh, this floor is shoes, this floor is ready to wear, this floor might be housewares, because the most exciting thing may be to change that in three or four months. So as I said, I don't really feature on what the departments are. What I feature on is how do I make it cohesive as you walk through this, the two pavilions? Do you feel you're in one environment? And I feel that I've succeeded very well.